Hello, folks. You're listening to WPVM 103.7 in Asheville. You can listen to us online at WPVMFM.org. And we are interrupting your usual mix of stuff that we found in our back closet with some awesome Busker Broadcast Special Edition. <laughs> <laughs> so, um,. I'm Abby the Spoon Lady, and would you like to tell the world who you are? Uh, well, I'm Sierra, Sierra Farrell, and I'm from West Virginia, the Charleston area. Um, and I like to play music <laughs> on the streets. Awesome. Um, what kind of music do you lean towards? Uh, probably like country, folky, um, a little bit of a mixture of everything, just, you know, a hybrid of stuff that I really enjoy and like. And of course, it like kind of changes and varies over the places I go and the people I meet, and you know how it affects affects life. Yeah, yeah, I do. I learned a lot. <laughs> I'm sure you do. You've been around. All, you've been around. Um, what do you what do you think you have taken from busking? You know, like. What, what kind of lessons do you think busking teaches people? Um, <clears throat> well, not everyone's going to pay attention to you, that's for sure. And uh, you can't, I, I can't, I'm kind of more comfortable busking on the streets than playing in venues a lot. Because well, it's like, cause it's like you know, you're on everyone's level and everyone doesn't have to stop and pay attention. And like, I kind of get nervous when I'm on a stage and people are like staring at you and expecting something. You're just like, uh, it freaks you out. But I definitely enjoy busking on the streets, especially with other people. You know, like when you're busking, like you meet different people and like they come up and like want to busk with you. I mean, that's not always awesome, but a lot of times, especially if you know who they are and you're just like, yeah, come on, let's just play and have a good time. Um, how long have you been busking? I've been busking for probably about three-ish years, four-ish years now. I actually like, you're one of like some of the first buskers I ever met in Nashville. I was just like traveling around with a guitar and like I, I remember. <laughs> and like yeah, it was awesome. I was just like so like Twitter pated with the whole idea and just like loved it cuz like the lifestyle I was living kind of like leaned more towards to busking compared to just like playing at venues. <laughs> Do you think there was a certain moment where you just realized that this is what you wanted to do. You want to do music, and that's it. Like, was it like a pivotal moment, or was it just something you always knew? Yeah, I've I've kind of always wanted to play music, but I just didn't really know like how I was gonna do it. If I was gonna be in a band with people, or just you know, a lot. You know, today's music is a lot of like computerized bleep blurp stuff, and uh, I've always just really kind of leaned towards the older style of music, and. Just, you know, the heart and soul of it. There just seems to be so much more passion in the old days compared to now. That's awesome. I mean, thinking about, like, making your living through doing what you love the most um, is kind of an inspiring thing. It's something that everybody should strive for. I mean, if you're if you're not happy in your 9-to-5 desk job, then you should find somebody who is happy doing a 9-to-5 desk job to take your place and go find something else to do. Exactly. Honestly. And that's that's my spoon lady advice. <laughs> I, you should I have know. your spoons in here when you give the advice, you like do like a little <laughs> or, like do like a little Bell jingle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, how about, how about you play a couple for us? Okay. Um, I'm going to play uh, Little Bird. It's a, kind of the one of the upbeat ones that I play that I've written. Because, like, a lot of my stuff's more, like, kind of a Debbie Downer. <laughs> but, like, this is more, like, a more upbeat kind of song. So I want to go into that one. Well, I know you'll sing for free. 
music. That's awesome. <laughs> so when did when did you start singing? Um. Well, I've always been singing. My mom said I've always sang songs ever since I started talking. And you know, mothers can just put their children in front of TV sets and just like. Yeah. So I would just like sing. Back in the day, there used to be awesome jingles all the time, and I would just like sing the jingles and. And then, like, she'd put, like, Barney tapes in or something, and I would just, like, sing them all the time. But, like, I didn't really start singing, like, hardcore until I got my tonsils and adenoids taken out. And, like, I talk like this, like, and my family would just laugh at me and, like, make fun of me for the longest time. Oh, and then, like, it was, no, it was, it was kind of traumatizing, but, like, now I'm, you know, I'm glad that that happened because I feel like it helped and made my voice the way it is now. And because I'd have to go into breathing treatment things, like where you have to blow up a balloon. Yeah. And like, and I'd have to like practice doing that. And like blowing up a balloon was so hard for me. Like I was just like, it took me, it took me like a month before I could <laughs> blow up a balloon. And, but then like I just, I, I had like this powerful voice like coming out of my little body, and they're just like, what? Like how did that even happen that way? It just, I guess it just took a traumatic experience for me to be able to express myself through singing. I don't know. That's awesome. So do you, do you write a lot of your own stuff? Or? Uh, I haven't really recently, which is it's a kind of, you know, Debbie Downer, but I don't know. Maybe I just need to go out there and find new experiences that makes me want to write because um, a lot of the songs that I've written is from traveling. Like, I'd just be traveling with groups of people. And people would just, you know, be, like, hanging out on a bridge, just, like, having a good time. And I'd be, like, in the corner just, like, picking guitar and writing lyrics. Or just we'd be hitchhiking, and I'd, like, write a catch line and, like, keep it in a song. And put it in a song, so. Yeah. Um, which which city do you think is your favorite for, for busking uh, that you've been to so far? Well, uh, like we were talking about earlier, like I heard them, it's very much seasonal. But... Asheville is definitely up there, and along with New Orleans. New Orleans and Asheville are probably my favorites. And well, Nashville is very soul-crushing. It is so, soul-crushing there. But. Yeah, and, and Nashville's real, it's real sad scene to me because, you know, they don't realize what they have. And, and they, they just treat street performers like dirt. And, yeah. and it, it's, it's really sad to see that happen. When obviously street performing has done so much to enrich cultures in so many different cities, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if people in Nashville have like picked up ideas from people busking and like you know put it and ripped, ripped on them and then put it in something that you know that they're playing now on the radio or sure it's very commercialized there, and and you know and I look a lot too at the accessibility of art like physical artists and paintings or handmade objects. And, you know, in New Orleans and in here, it's, it's everywhere, you know, handmade something everywhere. But in Nashville, it's all made in China, up and down the block, you know. And, and you know, it, it's the attitude that I think has something to do with that. Yeah. Completely. I think it's completely correlates. No way around it. Completely correlates. Well. <laughs> Can you mop up that one too? Yeah, do you want to do Irene? This is like one of my favorite songs of us. Well, right. I, I actually I wanted I wanted to say really quick when I went to Nashville for the first time, I cried when I was on Broadway because I was just like backpacking through you know like I hitched up the <laughs> ride there, and like I when I got to Broadway I started crying because like I grew up like on hee haw and all that stuff and like I was just, like it's just hurts it breaks my heart on what Nashville's become but, I, but I mean I'm not gonna say that's all the whole thing because I'm sure. I've been to some shows there, like, you know, not on Broadway, where it's it's pretty uplifting of what it could be yeah. with the artists in town. But, um, yeah, this is a song, Irene, and one of my favorite versions is Ernest Tubbs' version of Irene. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to play my version. One, two, three. <laughs> i 
So uh, when when was it that you first heard that song? <laughs> I know that that's a pretty famous one. I love that one. Um, it's I'll pretty close to a lot of people's childhood. Yeah. I feel like I heard that on a cartoon once. Hee-haw. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I heard that <laughs> pretty young because my my people listened to a lot of good old country music like that. He loved Ernest Hobbs to death. And uh, he'd always sit by his by his uh, chair with a mandolin and a guitar right there, and he was always picking out stuff. And kind of encouraged me to want to play music. So he played mandolin and guitar. Mm -hmm. And did did he do any singing? Yeah, he did singing. He um, he went to a local church in Charleston, um, and he did a bunch of gospel stuff. I used I used to play like um, that one song. I have seen the morning burning golden on the mountain in the sky. Yeah. He used to sing that and like he likes to sing. He would sing like on the wings of a snow white dove. Uh, I can't remember the words. He like did consider the lilies and just like oh, a bunch of this, yeah. a bunch of those old like yeah, this like old gospel <laughs> stuff. Ah, reminiscing. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, I'm probably gonna end up being a. I, I want to make like a gospel album. Oh, you totally should. You totally should. Totally, totally should. You got another one for me? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna play another one off of uh, my album. You can't really get it anywhere. <laughs> I don't even think like I. I kind of sell it like on the streets, but I don't even really think I'm supposed to. I don't even really know if I'm supposed to be doing that. I'm not making a million off of it, so I can't really. I just like make ends meet. Well, you it, sell it in a lot of different towns. I mean, the, yeah. Yeah, you do that everywhere. I don't really, I mean, you don't really been doing that here. No. no. The, the, the thing about the CD sales is, is you know, if, if the city of Asheville wants to provide a place where artists honestly can survive, including the musicians, then it just, it just needs to happen. They need to let us sell CDs. Yeah. And that's bottom line. You know, and, you know, I guess the best thing to do is to show up and talk to folks about it and figure out what's the best way to do that logistically amongst yeah. everybody else and legally so that nobody feels like they're being stepped on per the vendors or the, the business owners and so on and so forth. But I think it's possible and I think it's necessary to allow for musicians to be able to, to do that. 
Yeah, for sure. Completely. Well, maybe one day soon. Yeah, well, working on it. Keep working our fingers crossed. Working on it. <laughs> Continuously. <laughs> All right. Uh, this song here is <clears throat> Magic Spell. And I wrote this across the country. And it goes like this. And my heart is so heavy now. Oh, it's so heavy now. It's so heavy now. Oh, you. You put a magic spell. It's cold You make those feelings wrong From you I feel no warm Gotta get these legs a moving Well you see that train is coming And here I find no home in my heart is so heavy now, oh, it's so heavy now, oh, it's so heavy now, oh, you, you put a magic spell. Tell me why you do this to me You make me shaky at the knee Got me calling out, baby, please Oh, you got a long way to go Sweetheart, yes, I do know So if you're, how often do you bus? Do you um, think, like, and, and I know it's different city to city or where yeah. you're going, but, but would you say that you, you bus every week? Pretty much, yeah. Because, I mean, that's, that's my income, you know? It's like, so I got to go out there and try to make some income. But, I mean, of course I have fun doing it. Like, it's yeah. just, and plus, you know, you, you see other buskers out and you can, like, chit-chat with them and, like, maybe, yeah, and you yeah. know, you can trade songs back and forth, learn new stuff, or, like, hear a song someone's playing and be like, oh, I want to learn that one. And, like, you know, it's just, it's, it's, uh, like you said, it's roses without the thorns. <laughs> Glittering has become part of my profession. 
right here. <laughs> it's like one of my new favorite things when I get to just stand around and talk to my friends all day and like occasionally I get to play music and I get paid sometimes for it, but mostly I just stand around and listen to music and talk to friends all day. So yeah. What? Well, of course that's what I do for, that's what, that's what I want to do. <laughs> Yeah, and, and folks don't realize that how much work it really is, though, too, you know what I mean? Like, like sure, it's fun, and sure, you know, it, it seems like it's it's easy money, maybe. But yeah, it's hard. It's but, hard work. But it's not at all. It takes hours and hours and hours of practice for you to even get to a point where you can make enough money to even think about earning a living and that that is being your sole income and actually calling it an income on top of that <laughs> that's true and then and then winter comes every single year and i never bury enough acorns <laughs> ever ever never i try it never happens <laughs> i know after busking all day you're pretty exhausted and like sometimes like people will be like oh you want to come hang out and party or like go to the bar and you're just like i just want to go and watch netflix and yeah. <laughs> like drink a beer maybe at the house or like or wherever you're staying at someone's house or like in the vehicle that you're living in or whatever <laughs> but, you know how, like, in the van down by the river <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah yeah I, I definitely feel worn out especially if it's been very very busy and there's been a lot of crowds then sometimes i feel a little bit worn out and i think some of it's just the energy coming off of everybody and it's not like a bad worn out it's just like you know it's the the i just mow, mowed my lawn and you know <laughs> yeah. trimmed my trimmed all my hedges and weeded the garden and i'm exhausted kind of ran a mile kind of tired you know yeah and especially <laughs> like i was like I, I know you love it and it's your passion and like whenever you love something like that you like you love it and it's your passion you put all your energy into it and it just like takes it to a whole new level and sometimes you don't even realize you're doing it yeah you know? exactly you're, just doing it, you're having a great time at the end of the day you just you're like oh wow maybe i should stop doing that two hours earlier <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you got another one for us? Um, yeah, I'm gonna actually. Um, I don't know. Can you do other people's songs? Cause like, what okay. do you mean? I mean, I don't know. Yes. Well, there's like this Steve Rowe song that I really like that I've been singing. Play it. Okay, cool. Well, at least I mean, I said it's his. I, I said I didn't write it, so. <laughs>
cold in this mountain it's dark and it's deep and god only knows all the secrets it keeps there's a chill in the air that only miners can feel well there's ghosts in the tunnels that come Yeah, I love that song. It's so, like, the words to it, it's like, ah. I just remember I was uh, when I was learning it in New Orleans, <laughs> I was, like, <laughs> crying, like, because it was, like, kind of like a, I was, like, living in a house full of a bunch of travelers, and, but, and like, a bunch of them are musicians. <clears throat> and I was, like, I was learning a song, and a bunch of them were, a bunch of the boys that were staying at, at the house were leaving, leaving town and, like, going, like, head out west and, like, do their thing. And uh, that was St. Cinder. They were staying there. If you guys want to look them up, they're pretty awesome. And uh, name dropping. <laughs> name dropping's okay. We like name dropping buskers here. And uh, but yeah, I was I was learning that song, and they were leaving, and I was just like crying. I'm just like, this is so, this song is so sad, and you guys are sad because they're leaving, and I don't know, it was, it was a a moment. <laughs> what do you think um, the strangest tip you've ever gotten was? Well, I'm going to probably go with Portland, Oregon, because there's so many wing nuts there. When you're, like, <laughs> when you're, like, wandering around there and you you kind of start to lose your mind a little bit because you think you're losing your mind because the people there, you can't have a normal conversation at all. It's just, like, you think you're having a normal conversation for a minute, and then, like, it just goes south. It you're, just just, it's just, you're just, like, I thought I was having a normal conversation, and then all of a sudden you had to say something like that, and then now I'm going to walk away from you. And please don't follow me. <laughs> but, like, there was this one guy, like, it started out, like like I said, a normal conversation. He's like, hey, how you doing? And I was just, like, at a, at a gas station probably getting a beer. And he was just like, oh, yeah, how you doing? And I'm like, oh, I'm doing good, you know, just enjoying the weather in Portland and hanging out. And he's just like, oh, yeah, I see you have a guitar. How long have you been playing music? And I was just like, um, I don't know, off and on since I've been a teenager. And uh, he was like, well, you do, I hope you haven't been playing for seven years because that's whenever you lose your mind and you become an alter ego. And I'm just like, what is he talking about? Exactly like, seven I was like, years. Exactly seven years he said that. That was like, that's kind of stuck with me over time. I'm just like, oh, my God. What I don't want to get wait, to here. Did you say you were wrong? I don't. I know. Like I don't. I don't want to say it again. I was just like seven years. <laughs> just like it's just like creepy. I just I think about it a lot actually. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. And do do you feel like busking on the West Coast is completely different from oh, busking yeah. on the East Coast? Oh yeah. People take it more seriously on the East Coast. I feel like. Yeah. And. That, and it's just, like, there's just hippies everywhere out there. I'm not, like, trying to be, like... You are in Asheville. You know? <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, there's there's good hippies and bad hippies, just, like, off people, you know? But, like, yeah. But, I don't know. That's just... People, there's Everyone's got a guitar out there, you know? Like, everyone. And there's just, like, people <laughs> playing music everywhere. I don't know. I, I like the West Coast, but I, I generally like to stick to the East Coast. It's just... Yeah. I, like... Not that, I don't know. A little more down to earth. Yeah, it's just a little more down to earth. Like, it's a little flighty out there. People, it's like, come back down now. Come back down. Like, <laughs> but, yeah. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that's, ex that, that's pretty much exactly where I sit with it. It's just, on the other side of the Mississippi, it gets a little odd for me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm just a little bit more grounded for that. <laughs> Do you have a favorite song to busk with? Um, Irene's one of them, which I already did, but I have another one that I like to play a lot, and uh, I'm not exactly sure who wrote it, but I heard it on the Grand Ole Opry, and uh, 
one of the the older ones, of course, because I don't really, I haven't really stayed up to date with uh, with today's stuff. But um, it's called "You Are the One." All right. Tell folks how they can find you and reach you. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I do. I have an email that you can email me, and it's uh, I like your bones at gmail dot com, and it's spelled out just like that. I l i k e y o u r b o n e s at gmail dot com, and I pretty much check that every day. Um, I I like to Facebook a lot. I like to take pictures and post it up. It's like you know. Um, a photo album, as you'd say, that you can kind of look back in history and see things that was going on in certain points of your life. Yeah, would be out. Do you have any uh, events coming up? Um, no, not really. Um, I was going to, but not now. And uh, but I don't know. I'm up for grabs if anyone needs a band member. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness, folks. So you can reach us at buskerbroadcast at gmail.com, or you can find us on Facebook. Um, and if you have busker buddies that you think should be featured on this show, you should send them our way. If you are a busker and you have a CD that you would like to be played on WPVM, possibly, then you can also find me busking. All you have to do is kind of stand in front of me and wave the CD at me and plop it in the case, make a little eye contact. I'll know what it's for. She'll ring the bell. Yep, I sure would. <laughs> um, you know, and, and if if you see a busker that needs to be on this show, also tell them to find the Spoon Lady or buskerbroadcast at gmail.com. Um, I think we got about ten minutes. Okay, oh, that's uh, uh, my friend Colin, and uh, it was actually Peter and uh, 
Chris Acker's friend as well. He wants to come in and do a song. So. All right. Well, let's get her done if we're gonna do that. All right. Let me go grab him. <laughs> so, um, for the most part, um, Asheville has got one of the best busking scenes in the United States, I think. And so it's gonna be fun this year bringing in and performers on you know just just randomly bring him into WPV and and letting folks just play on air and get their music out and tell their story a little bit and, and have a good time hey hi <laughs> you want to tell us about yourself and what's going on oh all right um well my name is Colin um I'm pretty new to this whole game um, where are you from I'm from Vancouver, Canada. A long way from home out here, but it's it's a beautiful country. And uh, yeah, no, I left. It's my first taste of this kind of lifestyle with the uh, busking and traveling all over. And I'm having a great time. Yeah, um, me and Colin actually met down. In, me and Colin actually met down in New Orleans. Also, he's a uh, he's a uh, road tripping around with uh, Chris Acker and friend of ours Chloe like they came down from British Columbia and just ended up in the south and we met we were there at the same time and they were they're my ride actually <laughs> I'm going up with them to Pennsylvania in a couple of days uh I'm gonna tie my double bass to the roof of their car it's gonna be interesting but uh yeah, yeah it's, right. it's kind of nice it's just friends now like mm -hmm. I feel like I've known you a very short amount of time and I like you immensely so uh -huh. shucks yeah. <laughs> so you're gonna play some some songs. What do you want to play? Uh, yeah. What, yeah want, well, what, what we doing? What we doing? Oh, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna play. Play a little. Motorcycle. Oh. Uh, no, I'm not no. going there. <laughs> I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play one of my songs. Cool. Yeah. It's. I guess it's called. Uh, don't call, don't you call me on the phone. But uh, that's pending. Well, don't you call me on the phone I'm gonna get drunk and I'm gonna stay home It's been a long week I don't feel much like talking Ain't all that tired or all that sore These aren't hurting like they did before oh, Please, please, please leave me Mama ain't dead Please, please, please Leave me be Oh my, oh my Won't you please leave me be Oh my, oh my Don't want no company Well I ain't sad And I ain't blue Darling, don't you know I never lie to you Tell you the truth, I don't feel much at all So don't you call me on the phone I'm gonna get drunk and I'm gonna stay home It's been a long week, I don't feel much like talking It's been a long week and I don't feel much like I wish I knew that one. I wanted to play it. That's so good. Is there is there a lot of busking in Canada? Um, it's not really so big in Vancouver. Yeah. I mean, I've got some friends. I met them. I followed them down to New Orleans. Actually, they'd been down the year before. And they play in a this a great jazz band um, called the Rossi Gang. Oh, you know, cool. Yeah, name drop a little bit more. But yeah, they um. They're probably the main buskers that I know. There's, it's not really as big of a thing in Vancouver. Yeah. But. 
Well, I'm real happy that I got y'all to come in here and hang out. It's been <laughs> fun. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I was kind of curious how long you were going to be in town. I think uh, we'll be around until Sunday night or Monday midday. We're not quite yeah. sure yet. Yeah. Well, I hope you come back through and stop and visit again. Maybe we can have you guys back on the air. Yeah. Be yeah, fun. that'd be good. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'd be into it, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Do you have any plans coming up? You're just going to be riding along with them? Oh, yeah. Well, we're just we're on our way up the East Coast. Like, we're going to... We're gonna go. We got some work in Virginia, and then we're gonna go to D.C. Check out museums, and work our way up to Montreal. We got some friends there, and the, there's a cool yeah. music scene. So. Awesome! That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Sounds like a whole lot of fun. Well, we got about six minutes left. All right. If 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 any of y'all want to say anything to anybody, like hi mom, hi dad, whatever. <laughs> Then y'all should yeah. poke in they here. Come in here. Last few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> you want to say hi to your mom? If you want to say hello, <laughs> goodbye, hi mom, anything. We got okay. about five minutes. Left. Hi mom, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't be here without you. <laughs> so, um, anyway, um, y'all are listening to, to WPVM 103.7 FM in Asheville. You can listen to us online at WPVMFM.org. You can find me on the street incessantly playing spoons <laughs> very, very often over the weekends. Ringing bells. Throw money in there so she can ring her bells. Yep, yep, yep. She's got the coolest bells around. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> yeah. Mom. Mom. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Um, so, yeah. Uh, um, for the most part, please send us send us buskers. If you're a busker, come and hang out with us. If you're listening and you've been listening, come by and give me the thumbs up. You know, if you see anything, please, please give me the thumbs up. Let me know that this is enjoyable to you because I, I would love to hear it. Um, there might be a couple people listening somewhere. Well, I, <laughs> really, I told everybody I know. <laughs> I mean, I, like, I, I wasn't even singing any songs today. I'm like, guys, I'm going to be on the radio. Like, some come, somebody come listen to me. He's famous on the internet. I think it's worth for it. I'm not famous as that. <laughs> <laughs> Inter- oh. in- internet fame is a scary thing. It is. <laughs> All, right. All right, guys. I guess we should we should just go ahead and sign off. Thank you so much. Signing yeah. off, guys. Yeah. Um. <laughs> thanks for coming up. I really appreciate it. Thanks for letting us play. Yeah. All right. This has been a special edition of Busker Broadcast. Thanks for hanging in with us. EVM. Just letting you know, we are always looking for volunteers, whether it be DJing or programming or any other useful talents you can contribute. You can contact us at WPVM.103.7 at gmail.com. Thank you. You are listening to WPVM 103.7 FM LP in Asheville. Stream us online at WPVMFM.org. Good evening, Asheville. This is W103.7 WPVM in Asheville. Um, we are going to start off with the song from a uh, local band, Zuzu Welsh Band. Um, and then we're going to get back to them. They're sitting here in the studio with us. And we're going to you know, talk some stuff together and... Uh, See how everything goes uh, after that. I am sick, so they're gonna try to uh, kind of carry uh, carry the show for me. I kind of <laughs> asked that from them before they came in, <laughs> and they agreed. I know it's hard for you two to do yeah, well, anything like that. Yeah. But, I mean, so let's. I don't uh, ever talk. <laughs> let's start it off with a, a song called "My Hero" by you guys, and then we'll come back just to give them a taste sure. of who you guys are, and then we'll come back and talk about the band. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> 